In this video, we are going to learn all about tangent lines with circles. The first thing we're going to talk about is a circle that is intersected by two different tangent lines. And remember what a tangent line is, is a line that intersects a circle just once. So one example of a tangent line would be right here because it intersects that circle just once and that point where it intersects is called the point of tangency. Now we're going to draw another tangent line over here and see what happens. So there's our second point of tangency. We have two segments that have been created. If we look at the point of intersection for the two tangent lines, we have two segments right here and right here. And those two segments will always be congruent. They will always be the same length. So this segment is the same length as that one. And that would be true no matter how you drew the tangent lines. They will always be the same length from the points of tangency to the point where the two tangent lines intersect. So that's one important property about tangent lines and circles. The other important property is if you have a circle and just one tangent line and you think about the point of tangency, if you connect that point of tangency to the center of the circle, so you make a radius from the point of tangency to the center, that radius will always be perpendicular to the tangent line. So this will always be a right angle. And again, that's any time you have a tangent line and then a radius that connects the point of tangency to the center, a right angle will always be created. Now when you see right angles, you should think about right triangles because right triangles have a lot of special properties about them. You can use Pythagorean theorem, you can use trigonometry, and so that will help you to solve a lot of problems. And a lot of times a problem won't tell you that this is a right angle. You just have to know if it's a tangent line and a radius that a right angle has to be formed. So for example, if we drew in a line right here, and if I told you that the radius of this circle is 4, and that this segment right here is six units long, then we could solve for the hypotenuse of the triangle right here using Pythagorean theorem, because if the radius is four, that means this is four. And once we solve for the hypotenuse, because the radius is four, it means this part right here is also four. So we could go back and figure out this little part right here. So there's lots of stuff that you can figure out as long as you remember that this angle right here has to be a right angle if we're dealing with a tangent line and a radius.